Hello, Renuka and Eric. How are you doing? Hi, mom. He's saying hi, mom. I'm back. Professor Eric. All right. Hi. You are going to teach us something in your virtual classroom. So the floor is yours, babe. He's written in huge bold letters, lessons. And he's saying, mom, last time I explained the purpose of this lifetime is learning and experiencing. Mm. And today we'll talk about one of these purposes, which is learning and the lessons, the major lessons, which a soul chooses, which is almost compulsory for a soul, you know, to learn. And he's saying these three major lessons, he's saying the other smaller lessons come, un uh, come under the umbrella of these three lessons. Okay. So he's saying, mom, I'll discuss these three major lessons so that uh, the viewers get an idea of what a particular situation is trying to teach them. Yes. I'm saying I am at, in this lecture, he'll be focusing only on the lessons through situations, not relationships. Okay. He's saying relationships are, are a different ball game altogether. That's where karma is involved. So that's a right. huge topic. And that one topic is going to take a lot many lectures because he's going to go in great detail and depth because I have received so many amazing queries. People are actually interested. They actually want to work on their soul plan, work on their lessons. And Eric is completely stoked about taking it further. So he's, he's wanting to go in actual depth of every topic so that there is more understanding. So he, he's saying that lessons through relationships is different and lessons through situations right. is different. When I talk about that learning is one of the purpose of taking human body, these learnings come only through two sources, which he's al already explained. One is the situations, one is the relationships. He's saying we'll keep the relationships aside because that's where karma is involved and it's a heavy topic. Right. And I'm going to take three, four lectures to at, at, um, just explain the basis of it. This he wants to cover today. Uh, he's saying maybe this one will also spill out into the next lecture. But okay. Uh, he wants to start to give it. Hmm, he's saying, I want to start today with these three major lessons which make human life comparatively easy if you learn them and master them early on. Because so many small, small situations, so many small, small problems will come to teach you small, small lessons. But if you have majored these three lessons, these small situations will uh, become a cakewalk, he's saying. Okay. So he's saying when you choose to learn through situations, when you choose lessons, which are, uh, which are possible to be learned only through situations and you don't need a relationship and you don't need any other soul to play a role to bring about that learning for you. Uh, these lessons don't involve karma and the kind and the quality of the lesson and the level of difficulty really depends on what lesson you have chosen and how long have you taken to master that lesson? So you saying, mom, if I've chosen one lesson and I'm not able to master it the very first time at a particular level of difficulty, next time when I choose that lesson again, because obviously it has to be learned and I didn't learn it the first time, the level of difficulty has to be higher because my soul didn't take it seriously at this particular level of difficulty. Right. So he's saying uh, the, the, the basic the basic uh, point of learning lessons through situation is to understand the intensity of the difficulty. So if you're feeling a particular situation is very difficult, he's saying, hello, you have, you have been stubborn. You were not ready to learn it at, a, at an easier level. And that's why the intensity and the difficulty is higher. It was your soul stubborn enough not to learn it at an at a equal, um, at an easier level and then make it more difficult so that your soul is not able to escape it. So all those who you don't know, complain that, oh, I chose abuse, oh, I chose this, I chose this, how can I cho choose this? He's saying, you yourself chose it because you knew at an easier level, your soul always escaped those lessons. And this time around, you didn't want to give your soul that leeway to escape. That's why the level of intensity, the level of difficulty, is higher and that situation will engulf you from all the sides in a way you will not be able to leave it but make sure that you learn it 
that situation will make sure that you learn it. Yeah, so I mean, see, I remember hearing from somebody that, you know, at first, it tickle with a feather. If you don't get it, then knock you with a little ball pin ha hammer. But eventually, it's going to be a sledgehammer is going to hit you <laughs> if you don't get it right. So, yeah. Exactly. yeah. So that makes sense. He's saying, yeah, he's saying, mom, it's, it's more of self-defense, you know, because when you are a soul and you're planning that particular lesson at the soul level in the spirit world, you know yourself very well. You know, while being in the body, you're going to escape this. So you make sure that you choose such a difficult situation where it engulfs you from all the sides and you're not able to escape it. And at the end of the day, maybe you will suffer a lot, but you will learn. You will end up learning that lesson. He's saying, because that's the point, mom. Otherwise, why, why are we in the body? Why right. do we take on the body? That's the point. So that's how a soul looks at the experience that it is going to have in the body. But once it enters the body, of course, it's a different ball game. And we are thrashed. We feel thrashed. We feel that there's so much of injustice. But he's saying all of this is the part of making that situation difficult enough so that the soul learns it completely and also assimilates it completely. So wait, He's so, so all the people, including me, who have, who have gone through a lot of trauma, loss, et cetera, is it because, well, they just chose it from the very beginning or is it because, oh my God, we, Alisa, you've had this lifetime and that lifetime and that lifetime and you still haven't learned. So we're going to have to, I'm going to have to do, you know, more. Or so, so what is it? Is it just because these are the stubborn people, the stubborn souls, or what? He's saying, um, there are a few more factors. Like between us, it was more about you helping me fulfill this contract of mine. And so you figured, oh, you want to do this? I'll do this for you. And maybe, you know, while doing this, I'll learn certain difficult lessons of mine. So you do that for your soul family, for the souls you're very strongly right. connected to. And, you know, he's showing me a vision that, you know, there is this trajectory, there's this path which is going upwards and a soul has climbed upwards and the loved one, which the soul is very much connected to, you know, loves, it's stuck somewhere and this soul, which has grown ahead, wants to help this soul. So for that soul to come and experience a very difficult lifetime so that this soul is able to reach where it has reached. Okay. Is, is more, a, it's more of an act of, love and oneness and helping each other okay and it, it will willingly take on that suffering and maybe that soul is not learning as much but it is compromising and sacrificing so that this soul learns so you think okay, there so, are many so, factors so some people are have a life where they're suffering a lot not just because they haven't really learned but sometimes it's because it's to help other an other person some other person or people learn is that yes, what you're saying? saying yes he's saying yes mom and you need to understand it's by choice they might not think that it is their choice after coming into the body but nothing happens without their own free will and their own choice oh yeah he's saying yeah. also it's never like that and he's saying also many times mom we do choose a level of difficulty to learn a particular lesson yeah. but after coming in the body if you are more stubborn if you are resisting something if you are closed if you have other conditionings and prejudices or if we end up using our free will in the wrong way taking the wrong decisions those same situations will come around and be more difficult in front of us so right. most of the times we make it more difficult because of spiritual amnesia, because of, you know, whatever we go through while we are in the body. And he's saying there is a way around it. But let's just say that we don't choose to understand that, that way around it because we are at a level of consciousness where we have to figure it out ourselves while being in the body. Right. Like we are, like right now we are figuring it out. He's saying like right now who or everybody will be watching these lectures, they will figure it out because they had chosen that this kind of lecture will come in front of them to bring about that awareness in their oh, soul. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's, saying, that's amazing. Not, I'm saying not everybody has chosen it. This yeah. video will reach those people at that particular point of time when they are meant to know and understand why they are facing, what they are facing, and what, are, what, are, what is their soul trying to teach them. So he's saying, Mom, you have... XYZ subscribers today, after five years, hundred others, thousands others will join in and they will come back to this lecture 
because that will be the right time for them ah, to same. understand the essence and meaning of their experience and their lessons and their difficulties gotcha so he saying that's it's all chosen mom and this video is for all those who have chosen to understand this who have chosen to have this awareness from a given point of time and learn their lessons understand the essence of this body and the purpose of this life so he saying that more difficult situations that means the lesson which your soul is trying to learn is more important that's why the soul has chosen such difficult situation and has not given itself any escape route I so he's saying when we are going through tough times let's not focus on the difficulty and let's on, let's focus on the reason what is reason and the purpose what is our soul trying to teach us he saying i'm going to teach how to deduct lessons from every major situation that you're facing and he saying mom let's just let's just say if i'm trying to learn forgiveness okay and someone betrays me mm-hmm. when someone has betrayed me i'll be in pain i'll be in trauma until i don't find the forgiveness within me the minute i learn forgiveness the minute i master forgiveness that pain will itself leave me and the problem will go away it's so much connected it's so much technical he say yeah it's so much planned that way that anyways the situation the problem that you're facing once you learn the lesson it's not that the situation is going away the situation is ceasing to trouble you the situation right. ceases to trouble you because you have learned and you have grown and he's saying mind you mom until you have not learned the lesson that situation is trying to teach you it will keep troubling you so yeah. if if someone has betrayed you and you think oh forgiveness is my lesson and you end up forgiving that person but it the pain is still there it's still gnawing at your heart okay it's still yeah. the memory is still there it's still yeah. giving you pain and hurt although you have forgiven that person that means the lesson was not forgiveness the lesson was letting go of the pain oh interesting so he's saying yeah he's saying the major major uh, sign of understanding if you have learned the a lesson which a particular situation is trying to teach you is that that situation will cease to trouble you that situation will cease to be a problem for you that's well, the like, major sign like the perfect example is uh the uh, abuse that me and my sisters or my sisters and I endured as children you know i was like in the victim mode for a lot of my young adulthood until i realized wow there was some value in that and i realized the lessons you know to be to learn how to find my voice to learn to be compassionate and nurturing and and so then all of a sudden the pain went away the suffering went away because i i felt so grateful for it uh, for that growth yeah. so um so that's the perfect example um yeah. how do you know if the pain you're going through is for your own edification for the edification of someone else or both for example let's take the one the thing where i almost died in the when i was lost in the norwegian tundra you know i have a feeling that it was for others in the family it could have been also me maybe maybe learning to value life my own life more but i thought i valued it already so but in in other words let's make a generic how do people know who the lessons for He's saying, "Mom, invariably you have to yourself take yourself as a learner and learn, no matter what your soul taught, uh, no matter what your soul chose it for. Because okay. learning of every kind will continue with your soul, and even if you have not chosen it, it will it will be with your soul and it will aid your consciousness. That Got is it. one thing." Uh, he's saying, "What happened with you in Thondra region or wherever you were?" He's saying, "It is it was more of an experience than learning. You wanted to see death." closely while being in the body and yet survive it it was more okay. of an experience he said uh, not every situation will come to teach you some of the situations you will teach to experience because there is so much that a soul cannot experience and the experience is very different from what it experiences as a soul and what it experiences when it's in the body right because it's well, a I checked that off my list the body i got it <laughs> never want to have it again check off a bucket list cuz i almost kicked the bucket all right that's interesting go ahead sorry 
a particular situation serves different purposes yes it was for your family members that was the main the same but it was also for your soul to experience and face death so closely because okay. that also gives a lot of higher consciousness a lot of awakening within you as a soul in okay. the body like right. you realize that this body is not permanent and you actually act, experience it you know talking about it knowing about it is different and realizing it facing it is different that always it. aids your that always aids your soul's awareness so a situation will have many facets he's saying he's saying but i want i want everyone to understand that it's not about others it's about you your experience your soul its growth the others have to take care of their own experience their learnings their karma you have to be concerned about your own self about your lessons because once your soul leaves the body it is only accountable for what it did it's not accountable for what others are doing or not doing it's not accountable for others growth and he's saying i don't mean it in a selfish way at all i mean it in a more uh, that you have to be more accountable for your own lessons more accountable for your own experience here and make the best use of it right and maybe not not interfere so much in other people's soul plan and their lessons because that's their experience and they will take care of it and maybe your interference will end up spoiling it so he's saying a situation will come and what you have to focus on is where is it triggering you which emotion is it triggering and where are you facing the problem what in what way the situation is affecting you emotionally or giving you pain or presenting itself as a problem that's the hint of where your lesson lies and to understand if you have learned all the lessons from the situation that situation will stop troubling you that's the main hint that you need to understand that yes your lessons are learned but if the situation is still triggering you it if it still presents itself as a problem in life no matter small or big you still have to learn from it because the point of choosing that situation by your soul was to learn yeah now he's coming to the uh, two three major lessons that a soul compulsory needs to learn and in fact he's saying that if the soul has learned these three lessons these lessons will keep presenting themselves to revise to relearn so that they are these lessons are completely assimilated strongly within the soul and the first one is he's saying forgiveness uh well, now we're saying, talking about are we talking about relationships or situations now situations okay he's saying now forgiveness is a quality where relationships will be involved but from you have to understand that even though a person is involved karma is involved but it is a situation also where your soul is hurt oh. and you're trying to let go irrespective of who is involved okay Got so it. many times these will come together but situations are different and you have to take relationships differently because that's where karma is involved so we have to understand it in a different way so he's saying a situation betrayal is a situation yes betrayal has come from a soul but that's the karmic part but as a situation betrayal teaches you what so you have to understand where it's affecting you like we gave this example uh, that you know you might think of forgiveness but it's also letting go of pain it's also detachment where you detach from your emotions and let the person go forgive the person let the pain go release that emotional energy so he's saying the kind of the situation which is presenting itself and the kind of emotion it triggers the kind of pain and hurt it triggers will help you deduct the lessons where forgiveness is concerned he's saying it's compulsory for every soul to learn forgiveness because that's a major root of karmic imbalance he's well that's a huge facet of love forgiveness yes yes so it being the major characteristic of the creator major experience but he's saying mom it's also if it's not learn it also becomes a major cause of karmic imbalance because if you don't have forgiveness in your soul and supposedly you have a contract with sweetie and she's meant to betray you now you were meant to betray so that you learn something right okay maybe it's not forgiveness it's letting go and you end up learning letting go but you don't forgive her that that sort of creates karma that becomes a lesson for you to again master in another lifetime okay karma is unfulfilled lesson but if you had forgiven if you would have forgiven her you are not making extra karma right and you need to forgive her because the karmic contract was with both of your choice right 
sure. we forget, which we forget while we are in the body. But if we have learned forgiveness and naturally we forgive people who hurt us and teach us in the process and who are hurting us only because of the contract between us, mm. it helps in karmic balancing. And that's why forgiveness becomes mm. one of the major lessons. Now you see, I know there are many facets of this situation which you will not understand because once we understand karmic imbalance, the topic of karmic imbalance, you will be able to connect it better. Right. But he's saying forgiveness is very important if a soul wants to get liberated from the body because we make spiritual contracts to learn and teach. Okay. Okay. And then we so end up wait, one thing. So I was thinking as far as forgiveness is concerned, I can sort of tell uh, that uh, that was part of, of something I needed to learn. That was a situation because I've been betrayed by many people. So it's not just me and one person. It's me against the world. No, I'm just kidding. But uh, so that really uh, sort of points to the fact that it's a situation. So he's saying, yeah, he's saying, yeah. And he's saying, mom, you know why it kept coming back to you all the time? Because all the time there was something you had to learn more from it. Right. And he said, and I'm he a said, slow learner. <laughs> I'm in the remedial class. <clears throat> and he's saying, mom, so many times the soul chooses the same lessons to revisit and relearn and revise them. Because that way, the lesson is assimilated very strongly in the soul and the soul yeah. will not forget it. And next lifetime, it will be a part of your soul characteristic. Wherein mm -hmm. if somebody hurts you, you will only take the lesson, but you will forgive that person and that will help you in balancing the karma properly and not invite more ah, karma. Okay. So Got with it. you, yes, he's saying with you, sometimes it's been to learn another aspect of forgiveness, to learn letting go and also many times to keep revising it because every time you faced it, you were like, oh, this is the same thing. I know what is to be done. So you are revising it, you're relearning it, you're re-experiencing it. And it's, it's more of your soul's way of making sure that it's assimilated strongly in your consciousness. I and see. on this point, he's saying, mom, you don't know. But at the time of death, the hit to the consciousness is so much that so many times the learning and the experiences do not get carried forward with the soul consciousness. And it remains with the mind and the emotions. That uh -huh. is also true. So, and it really depends at the time of death, what your level of consciousness is, what your state of mind is. He's saying there are so many factors, but that's a different topic for a different day. He's saying. Well, that's a so horrible saying, waste of a waste of lessons, though. You see, you, you you got it. You forget. You learn how to forgive. All of a sudden, boom! Forgot it all just because of the moment of death. That doesn't seem he's fair. Saying, Mom, just, yeah, he's saying, "Mom, let's just say that we didn't learn that." lesson completely or that lesson was not completely mastered and assimilated okay. in your soul and hence then the soul disconnected from the body it didn't take the lesson along with it and that's yours that's why you keep seeing these repeated lessons I coming see. to you so, so that you yeah. so it takes a bit to really integrate it into your soul so that it sticks with your soul yeah. okay got it yes he's saying you okay. might think he's saying you might think you have learned the lesson but think again you see yeah. that's right so, yeah he's saying Mom, it's not only just facing the situation and thinking that you have learned the lesson. It's actually learning the lesson. And when you've actually learned it, you will, your soul will take forward to it. And if your soul feels that it is still not you know, integrated the entire lesson, it will keep repeating the situation. So it's for its own good. Because there are many other factors involving the soul and the consciousness and the integration of this entire experience in our physical body. There are so many factors affecting us and our lives, our soul and the body. So. Um, the second major lesson he's saying is uh, detachment. Okay. And he's saying why it's a major lesson. It's because uh, we mostly fuck up. <laughs> he's saying we fuck up, fuck our lives <laughs> up because of emotions, because we are not able to control our extreme emotions. And these emotions uh, make us go astray from our soul plan soul plan, make us feel obsessed and choose things which are not in our soul plan and waste our time or maybe build more karma or uh, maybe, you know, flow with them and do things which we are never meant to do or desire things which we are never meant to have in this lifetime. So you see emotions are uh, a major routine thing, but at the same time, mom, emotions help you learn. Yeah. Emotions, 
Emotions lead to pain. Emotions lead to suffering. Emotion leads to all kind of experiences. It's your, it's your feedback signal. Like, hey, something's not right. I live, and I need to pay attention. It's kind of like one of those things, yeah. right? Okay, can, yeah. can you give me an he, example he, of detachment as a lesson? Also, oh, go ahead and finish this. Sorry. Yes, yes, I would. Yeah, I would ask him that example. But you know, when he's talking about emotions, there's this beautiful point. He's not told me this before, but I'm also learning it for the first time. He's saying. Emotions are needed because emotions are the basis of our experience here. Emotions make you experience, right? Mm -hmm. If you don't feel anything, you don't experience anything. Yeah. And, and emotions lead to pain and suffering, which lead to lessons. He's saying, I'm not saying positive uh, emotions don't teach you, but the way the negative emotions teach you, it's, it's something Much else. Greater. It yeah. stays with you. It stays with you. So he's saying emotions are needed for our experience, for our learning. But then it has to be a right amount. It has to be balanced. So when he says detachment, he's not saying absence of emotion. He's saying balanced emotions as much as are needed to learn your lessons. People sometimes slow with emotions so much that they make their experience more, more difficult than their soul originally chose for that experience to be. Right. So when he's saying, when I say detachment, I'm saying look at life as if, this is not your original reality. You are a soul in the body living this experience and live and experience, learn from it, detach from it and move on. Right. Not stay attached, not stay attached to the outcomes, not stay attached to people because relationships, situations, people, they are just chosen for your soul to learn. Right. The original relationships, the original love, the oneness, the kindness is all experienced in the spirit world. Here it's a drama, here it's a contract you are honoring. And if your emotions are not balanced, that contract will not be balanced and you will end up creating an imbalance in that contract. So you right. think supposedly, um, supposedly you and me are in a relationship and maybe we are best friends, okay? And supposedly you ask me that, you know, you need to betray me and I need to learn forgiveness and we chose that yes you will learn forgiveness you will forgive me and then and because we are soulmates we are so strongly connected we chose that we'll stay with each other all our lives and support each other in rest of our spiritual contracts after balancing the contract between us now he's saying maybe you know uh, I betrayed you you f you forgive me okay you forgive me that was your lesson but you chose to end the friendship because you couldn't, you know, you couldn't uh, continue the friendship because of the hurt and pain. You did forgive me, but you didn't want my presence in your life. That is, that was your emotion. That was okay. you running away. So he's saying, now you miss out on a soulmate being there for you and making the rest of the spiritual contracts easier. Right. Well, because could I really truly forgive someone, but still not want to be with them? Yes, many wow. times. Because yeah. He's saying, mom, forgiving is easier than letting go sometimes. It really depends on the hurt and how much mature yeah. your soul is. But sometimes you can forgive and still not have that person around in your life because it, yeah. will, it will make you remember the pain and hurt because you have not still let go of the pain and hurt. That's a different lesson. Okay, so he's interesting. Saying many times, he's saying many times we flow with emotions and we... We fuck up our spiritual contracts or learnings and of course these emotions are needed so when i say detachment there has to be balanced emotions the right amount which is needed to learn our lessons and yet not get carried away and imbalance our karma or our spiritual contracts okay he's saying many situations will come which will teach you a detachment like if you are not if you if you badly wish for a particular kind of a job and that's what you're wishing. That's what your emotions are attached to. And you don't get it because it's not in your soul plan. And you end up going into depression and go astray from your entire soul plan. So that's mm. a more super Emotion. example. But that's how, yeah, that's how emotions work. So you're saying maybe uh, you chose not to have that job. But because you're so much attached to that job, to that outcome, you go into depression and the job which was meant to you, you are not there to accept that job. Oh, and yeah. Because of that. Oh, no, of course, my emotions. So in the interest of time, what is the third? We got um, eight minutes left. Uh, what's the third situation? I mean, is, is 
scarcity one of them like I, I see so many people that suffer from a lack of abundance of any sort mostly financial but it could be love health you know anything yeah uh, he's saying not being non-judgmental he's saying scarcity is oh. a situation form he's saying mom scarcity is a situation but every soul will face it in at a different level and will have okay. different levels All right, but the third one have- you want to talk about is judgment being yeah. not it's okay. being non-judgmental. yeah that's yeah. a tough he's- one yeah people. and he's saying and he's saying mom the contracts again the karma comes into the picture if the contract is need if the contract needs someone to be cruel and rude to you because you asked that soul to be cruel and rude to you so that you learn a particular lesson you judging that soul will definitely imbalance the karma right right so he's saying also when he's talking about being non judgmental when no karma is involved as a situation when you judge yourself you take you stay away from the essence of you being a soul that's that's something which will make your experience here in the body very difficult so he's mm-hmm. saying if you master these three the rest of it becomes quite easier because rest of them stem from these three major ones well that's a big one because judging yourself being harshly critical of yourself self-loathing that can trap a lot of emotions and then create disease. It's so a lot of imbalance. He's saying it creates a lot of imbalance in all your bodies, but he's saying I am targeting these three lessons because these three lessons are the main reasons the soul goes astray from the soul plan. And that's why it is stuck in liberation. Right. The success of any lifetime is to follow the soul plan. And these three qualities when learned, it becomes easier for a soul to follow the soul plan otherwise it goes astray from the soul plan and the entire plot is lost he said wow so surrender so forgiveness surrender and being judgment free those are the biggies yes forgiveness detachment and being non-judgmental yeah is that same surrender same as detachment yes. yeah okay yes wow all right uh anything else before we close um uh, he's asking me to announce a workshop just now oh, I don't know goody, yes. <laughs> all right good hey uh, surprise you're gonna put on a workshop Ranuka. <laughs> all right tell me and it's it's gonna be all, yeah it's gonna be all connected to the soul plan uh major aspects of your soul plan how to understand them how to understand the lessons but it will be all consolidated in one workshop and he's saying i want to interact and I want to teach in much detail to those who are actually very much interested and are willing to, you know, give that much time. So he's saying you have to hold a workshop. He's not giving me the details because he's telling me now, but it will be in September, he's saying, and maybe on a weekend, and he's yet to give me the topics like he's saying right now, but it will be all connected. Well, yeah. Will you be able to, Eric, will you be able to take uh, each person who needs it in the workshop and help them like, Yes. Figure out what their soul saying, plan is. I mean, the blueprint. He's saying, I can promise, he's saying, I can promise one thing, mom. I can promise to make their life at this point of time a little bit easier by giving them a perspective why their soul chose a particular relationship or a particular different situation. Oh, I can okay, do that I got for it. them. Ooh, good. That's, that's the need. That's good. That's very valuable. And it'll be uh, in person or Zoom. You'll you, probably Zoom mostly. Yes. Both. yes. All right. Yes. Awesome. Sounds good. Well, just let me know when to announce that on my social media too. And, uh, you know, with the details like we usually do. And also you guys check out Renuka at uh, channelingspiritworld.com. Did I get it right? Yay. All right. I love you, Eric. I love you, Renuka. I love you, everyone. Bye. Love you. Bye. Bye. Bye.